Hey folks, I'm Jay. I'm Cameron. Uh, Cameron brought to us today a game called uh, Race the Sun, and he's gonna have me publicly embarrass myself because I've played this for all of three seconds. Basically long enough for him to learn the controls and then immediately die. Yeah. Uh, basically the whole deal is you have to dodge everything in this game that's not either uh, blue triangle, which counts as points, or those glowing things, which gives you power-ups. Like, that one lets you jump. Um... Basically, there are three power-ups. Those green ones let you jump. These, like, white stars give you boosts. Uh, you're a solar-powered vehicle, so you have to move faster than the Earth spins in order to stay under the sun. And there's also these really rare purple ones, which give you a bonus life. That is a booster. Uh, right. Basically, the idea is to rack up as many points as you can before inevitably dying. That is a warp gate. It takes you to the end of the region. I'm not even sure how many regions there are. I've made it to, I think, eight. You'll yep. also find some interesting rare portals later on, if you're lucky, which take you to a uh, randomly generated uh, second world. Uh, basically, the whole deal with this game is that the maps reset every day, uh, and everyone gets the same map. So, uh, the leaderboards are really, really competitive. Um, because basically everyone's well. pre-existing knowledge of the game, uh, dies at the end of the day. Alright, I'm giving this a second shot. Uh, I'm not sure if this is really true or not, but I've found that either just, either from this being an actual right. truth of the game, or just through sheer luck, the farther left you go, the more power up you're likely, likely to pick up. Nice work, Jay! Yeah, I'm... No, I'm gonna try it one more time, but I'm not very good at this. Uh, it's a very twitchy game. Uh, normally you complete a lot of objectives for XP and stuff, but I've already maxed it out, so, uh... What I have are three power-ups on this ship. Uh, one lets Jay store up to three jumps. Uh, one is a magnet, which means he only has to be relatively close to something to pick it up, as opposed to actually hitting it. And, uh, one makes him turn way sharper, which is completely necessary for the later regions in this game. Alright. Alright, Region 2, Jay. Let's see what you got. Not a lot. Evidently not. Nope. Well, uh, we're gonna let Cameron, who is actually good at this game, teach us a thing or two. Okay, I haven't really played in a while, but I'm a bit rusty, so I'm a bit rusty. Uh, then again, uh, we had this on the PS4 demo at my, uh, work at EB Games. Uh, my boss told me I could play until I died. I didn't do any work for 20 minutes. Yeah, let's watch him <coughs> make an ass out of me. Let me give it a shot. Oh, that was quick. I thought I could actually make that. <laughs> Suddenly I feel better about myself. Damn it, I swear to God, that that is makeable. No, it's not makeable all the way. Yeah, this game, is, a lot of it is about judgments. Something that I don't have... I will give it this, though, it's got a really good soundtrack. Oh, yeah, it's actually, like, really good soundtrack. Uh, I also like its visual style. Very minimalist, but it, yeah, it's... it's got a lot of impact. Yep. See, you just have to be close to shit to pick it up. Oh, hey, birds. Yeah, birds drop things. Uh, they never really explain as to why. Uh, you'll see in later areas there's, like, a war going on in this game, but um, I have no idea if there's lore. You gotta get up on your sun lore. <laughs> Praise it. Praise it. <coughs> so I've already maxed out my jumps. Uh, you can store three at a time. And uh, you can, in fact, spam them. So you can, like, triple jump. Uh, it's actually possible to pick up more jumps in the air and get, like, some quadra jump. Though I've never gotten more than three. And this is how you essentially don't play the game. Oh, fuck. Damn, son. Yep. Well, there goes, like, two of my three jumps. So this hasn't been the best region for me. Oh, those portals there that you saw off to the right really quick. Those take you into, like, a special bonus world, which is incredibly difficult. Uh, it changes every day as well, along with the map. Oh, fuck. Fuck. God damn it. Yeah, if you, just nick if, you don't, if you just nick things, all it does is kill your speed and your multiplier. It doesn't, like, cause immediate death. Alright. 
A couple of boosts and I'll be back up to normal. Oh, neat, a jump. Man, so yeah, this entire world seems to be Shrek pretty hard. Yeah, it's it's pretty fucked up. Uh, if there is lore to this, I'd really be interested in finding it out. And if anyone happens to know if there's lore, let me know in the comments. It'd Just be nice. This game is a lot of fun. I can't recommend it highly enough. It's very twitchy, though. Yep. Uh, but uh, once you really get into the groove of it, it's uh... it's a hell of a thing. Just like cocaine, it's a hell of a drug. Oh fuck, I didn't even notice that building! And just like cocaine, you get wrecked with an unforeseen <laughs> consequence. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was the light or if I'm just blind, but that building was fucking invisible for a second there. Yeah, I saw it. I only noticed it when it was too late to stop myself from crashing directly into it. That's life. <laughs> you only notice the obstacles when you're about to hit them. Yeah, man. What, you think you get some pre-warning? Nah. You don't get shit. Oh, because you're solar powered, if you stay like under bridges, or in the shadow of a building, or even under a cloud for too long, you'll just run out of solar power and die. Do you explode or do you just fall? Uh, yeah, I think you just fall. I can't remember though, it's been a while. I haven't played this game significant to any significant degree in like a month and a half. I think you actually explode. Hmm. You've run out of energy, so you're gonna expend the last of it in a cool explosion. Yep. Uh, the worst part is if that if you die and you have an extra life and the sun is too far gone, you'll basically spawn into darkness and then die again. Eh, sounds like <laughs> Dark Souls. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just gonna veer off this way. Oh fuck, needed to use that jump immediately. Yeah, that was well grabbed. Well, shit. I am not doing as good as I'd hoped. I'm gonna give it one more shot. One last try. Alright. Your last chance for honor. My last chance for redemption. Honor, dignity, and sick plane rides. This is actually a really fun game. I highly, highly recommend it to anyone who's into, like, racing games, indie games, uh, uh, games based on reflex. Say, I was gonna say, like, Infinite Runners. <laughs> yeah, actually, Infinite Runners would be a good one. I don't think I've really played any Infinite Runners other than this. Yeah, but it's definitely got shades of, like, Temple Run. Not yep. as... Not as pointless, but... I don't know. Uh, the way I imagine it is that inside it, you're either some bored rich kid with nothing to do, or you're some adventure guy, and that was an accident. I did not intend to jump. Will the bird still give you power-ups? Yeah, but the bird... Oh, fuck! I did it again! Uh, but, uh, the bird is actually specced off of your current speed and your current height. So if you boost into the bird or jump into the bird, uh, it'll be in the wrong place to give you stuff. Like, you won't be able to see it if you jump and then fall. Hmm. Sick bird tech. Yeah, basically the bird's position is relative to your own. Alright, that's a pretty cool way to do it. Look out for those moving cubes. Rectangles. I fucking love this game so much. It's... Like, I'm talking now, so it's not giving me the effect I'm about to say, but, like, you can just zone out and play this game it's for hours. It's pretty tranquil shit. Like, I'm kind of watching it half-hypnotized, man. I know, it's, it's super good. This is some weirdly comic <laughs> shit. Yeah, you just sort of get into the feel of it, and then you just play. Uh, it's like how some people are with uh, some puzzle games, like uh, Tetris or Collapse or whatever. Or like I can be with a freaking uh, character action game when I'm not having to talk. Yeah. Shit is harder when you have to talk when it's reflex based. Yep. I'm beginning to respect you a little more for being able to play Bayonetta on camera. Yeah, man, that shit wasn't easy. This is hard when you have to talk about things. I know, right? Fucking look at you. You folks out there can't see it, but Cam's sweating a little bit. A little bit. It's kind of stressful. Especially when you're moving at high speeds. Like, look how high the sun is in the air. Basically, uh, because it's higher than it started, it means that uh, in game logic, I am now moving fast enough that I'm outpacing the sun. Which is a hell of a <coughs> thing when you think about it. 
Uh, yeah, basically, uh, at my current pace, I would circumnavigate the globe before the day ended. <laughs> because the day can't end. Because I'm racing the sun. Oh god, oh, I am in the worst geez. position. Okay, yeah, well, welcome to Sphere Town. Where shit's just popping Life off all over the place. has... of... I didn't get that, the... Oh shit. Oh fuck! I thought I could pull that off! You can yep. actually do that. You can actually get yeah. like right between them. I was gonna say, you're almost a cool guy, but then girls were watching. Yeah, girls were always watching. Alright folks, we'll see you next time. Bye everybody. Bye everybody.